Hello everyone, in this short lesson I'd like to talk about uh, the effect of, of glass shattering with the water. Um, it's very good looking effect and I wanted to do it myself and to check out like how how I'm gonna am I gonna do this and what kind of obstacles um, will I have during the project. So um, the main uh, obstacles uh, in my opinion was the first thing is slow motion and interaction of water with the glass uh, pieces and also uh, having it clean at first and then having all those uh, shutter lines uh, running across the glass well um, let's actually uh, see uh, how it was done so here I have uh, the project itself uh, I have a setup here and then I separated uh, those glass liquid and background for the final render here I have the glass I'm uh, just making a few manipulations just to get ready for uh, for the dynamics, then uh, I'm shattering it, and uh, I, I used proboline fracture, and I made my own custom fracture pattern. Um, and uh, this way, uh, I could get uh, the pattern that I like to see so if I so you see it's like fracturing from the center not just like simple Warner fracture and um, the other thing is why I haven't used the uh, RPT material fracture or other uh, RPT fracture me method um, it seemed to me that I, I, it was a little over complicated for me and uh, I wanted to uh, control the whole process, process myself that's why I, I, I did this that way then um, um, during the fracture method I had a lot of uh, very little chance so I decided to go cleaning it up and delete the small pieces so as you see because it very it really really slow slows down your simulation um, next I uh, created some forces um, that will drive my simulation. I wanted to fracture like it from center, where I have those uh, the beginning of my fracture, the center one. So it's a very simple setup. Uh, I usually do it with normals, and then I transfer them back uh, to my velocity uh, attribute. Um, so here's the setup. <coughs> I use the same geometry and I subtract it from the original one, but I have some transformation uh, on uh, on another uh, on another version of the same geometry. So I could by subtracting it I'm, I'm, I'm having those normals and then I'm using the, the gradient just to uh, to have uh, all the force uh, concentrated in the center but not uh, on the rest uh, um, on the rest of the glass my pieces so I'm time shifting just to uh, clean things up and then I'm transferring it to my, my normals to velocity with some multiplier 
also I'm adding uh, some noise um, this time it will be uh, velocity so as you can see so we got yeah, some noise and here is the velocity and the glass the geometry itself um, I could use the same uh, but just like for the sake of information because uh, if I look at normals here normals are not uh, not normal so I set up normals and we're good to go next uh, next I use the same geometry the glass geometry just to set my fluid bar yeah and also I I'm, I'm creating a sphere uh, with some grouping and also uh, the basset in here that that I use to create my normals Do you see also a little bit noise and transferring it back to my uh, velocity attribute then transform and putting it in the, into the center of of the brake and here uh, transferring it uh, to my fluid uh, fluid particles and here I have also uh, another velocity and this is the mix let me just and so we see it like concentrated more in the center this is the overall behavior and here we have uh, adding those velocities together and here's the particles and here's the velocity collision and let's dive so um, I did two simulations like the first one is a glass empty glass simulation and there's nothing uh, special about it I um, I went with the standard uh, fracture not I, I haven't used the RPD packed object uh, because I couldn't get the result that I wanted so I used the uh, uh, standard method and it actually gave me the result that I wanted so uh, this one I can simply delete the test uh, here I'm using my velocity values I'm transferring it so I could uh, uh, transfer my um, animation to uh, to the dynamics and this is an RPD solver with some subsets okay nothing fancy gravity gra gravity and collision ground Um, I'm actually try running this, but it may run very slow. Um, why I decided to go uh, into uh, to separate into two simulations because um, because the, the the glass pieces are a simple RPD objects and in most cases um, in that uh, amount of simulation um, uh, the RBD will win uh, 
in t in terms of like uh, uh, in terms of simulation. So, um, if for example it was a large ocean, then I would probably uh, needed to go like to have them both on the same simulation. But in this case, uh, RBD uh, objects will win. Uh, definitely so uh, like the like water wouldn't affect that much on those RBD objects in this scenario so mm -hmm. as you see and if I'm not mistaken I had uh, um, no I mostly played with the with the timing so I could, and it's already in slow mo. Then I'm caching all the simulation and extracting those for the next uh, for water collisions. Uh, here I have my water setup. And if I go here, uh, very basic setup. So I have the glass pieces uh, and ground object as a collision. And here I'm using a pop warp. Uh, I'm reading that uh, velocity values. Uh, by using a uh, point cloud, I'm reading and adding velocity and some forces by using uh, those normals and velocity values. Um, this is very slow simulation in this case, so I uh, won't be trying to simulate it right now. Yeah. You can check it out like, by downloading your, yourself like, and see how it goes. So uh, I'm reading all those values and I'm having those uh, being cached. Uh, and the next step was how to combine uh, those um, broken glass and uh, and uh, the full glass so I used the switch and I have the animation and at certain point I'm switching to my animation this way I'm having it clean without any patterns I just and this way I have the illusion of breaking glass. Um, here I'm offsetting it a little bit. Um, another thing uh, that was uh, uh, causing problems is the intersecting uh, the liquid and the glass uh, uh, geometry. So um, I actually converted my glass into VDB and um, uh, liquid as well. Then I used some combined method with subtracting uh, those VDBs and reshaping and like having some final result. I think it should work like starting value. No, I need to cache. Uh, I can just this way. I'm uh, fixing the problems or of uh, uh, intersecting geometry. And here, I'm uh, transferring my velocity attributes to my uh, final mesh. Uh, to use it uh, in motion blur and here's the same 
procedures as you see I'm subtracting and I'm having um, I could actually add more details but um, uh, I decided to leave it just like that yeah so this is my final mesh Again, uh, velocity attribute, uh, normals, color, and uh, uh, time shifting, freezing, like, and switch. Uh, uh, last thing, I'm caching uh, glass break and liquid uh, dynamics separately uh, to use it uh, in, in final render so let me actually check that And uh, finally, when everything is set up, uh, we can render. I use Karma. Uh, I'm not very experienced with Karma, but I try to give it a go, like how I would manage things. So uh, here I'm using uh, my background, uh, glass and liquid. This is my camera, this is my light source. And here I'm using XPU engine and with some settings. And so uh, this is the final result. As you see, it's uh, not very complicated. It has some uh, uh, small uh, uh, tips and tricks, like how, how to fix uh, certain problems. Um, but uh, I think uh, the result worth it. So I hope you liked the lesson and uh, the information was useful. Uh, thank you very much for your attention and I see you in the next lessons. Goodbye.